Hello, discrete math fans. Let's talk about creating a circuit to do computer addition. So what our goal is going to be is to construct a circuit that will produce the sum of P and Q. And we're going to assume that these are bits. So that means they take on the value of 0 or 1. Now we know this. 1 plus 1 is 1, 0. 1 plus 0 is 0, 1. 0 plus 1 is 0, 1. And 0 plus 0 is 0, 0. I just put in some leading zeros for clarity. These are the leading zeros that you wouldn't ordinarily put in. Now notice that when we add two bits, we have to have two output pits. One is for the leftmost bit. That's over here. That's going to call, be called the carry. And then there's the rightmost bit. That's the sum. The carry output is 1 if both P and Q are 1. Otherwise, it's 0. That means we can produce the carry with an AND gate. The sum bit is 1 as long as P or Q is 1, but not both. So we can use this expression, P or Q, and the negation of P and Q. And if you remember, this is called the exclusive OR. Talked about this briefly. All right, now we can construct this circuit, which will compute the sum and carry outputs at the same time. All right, so this is from the book. It's showing you a circuit that's going to create a sum and a carry bit at the same time. So there's two outputs for the two inputs. And when we add binary numbers, not just bits, sometimes we have to add three bits, and that's because of carry bits. So we need to construct a circuit that will add three bits. And that circuit is called a full adder. So the one we saw before is called a half adder. So what we really need to do is create this operation. P plus Q plus R equals CS. And that's a two-bit object at the output. P, Q, and R, the things that you're adding. S is the sum bit, and C is the carry bit. Now the reason this takes us some work is because binary is really just two numbers being added at once. So what we really need to do is first add P and Q and then add the result to R. So once we have a half adder, then we can put those together. The carry bits can be added together to get the final carry bit. So the book shows the construction of something called a full adder. And then we can create a much bigger circuit using a half adder and any number of full adders to be able to add binary numbers of any length. So I'm not going through all the details. I think this is something that if you're interested in, you can read about. You should definitely know about the construction of the half adder and the full adder. Any circuit like this that will add binary numbers of any length is called a parallel adder. And the book shows a construction of a parallel adder. Okay, that's all for now.